Well, Jeremy, I don't exactly know how to answer what you're asking. Um, how do you make it work? Now you're talking about how to make the end gate work. What do you mean, how to make the end gate work? That's what I'm trying to figure out here. You ask one question and then you ask another without even answering kind of what I had asked you. So I'm going to try my best here, uh, not knowing exactly what your issue is. Now, this is a DPS box, okay? Now, the tailgate is unlatched at the moment, but when it goes down and touches the frame, and I have modified mine to put a little plug on here to latch it even better, there's a lever on the bottom that gets pushed that actuates the little, well, I don't know if you can see it or if I can get in here and see this, if I can flip this or not. There's a latch here and a latch here that latches on to these pins on the tailgate. Now your box is a little bit different than this one, um, but it's still a DPS, so it should basically be the same. Otherwise, I got a hydraulic reservoir here, hydraulic pump mounted back here because that's where I had room for it because I had no room up here, and a staged hydraulic cylinder that goes up in and is pinned here. That's why this is all open right here. And your box is too, because that's where the hydraulic cylinder goes up into. Now, I've got a brushless ESC in the cab running the pump. It's just, I, 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 I'm not exactly sure what you're trying to ask. And then, you got a motor that pulls this tarp back and forth that you need a brushed ESC for that and those wires run through a hole in the bottom of the box and come over to the motor and then those wires run all the way down the bottom of the box run back the frame to the ESC that's in the cab or wherever you mount them now okay Now, turn this on. There's all the beeps. Now, to go down. Now, this has been setting for a while. It's got some air built up in the system, so it's going to be a little bit jerky. Um, just a second. I'm going to try and put this phone on a tripod. I need to apply a little pressure on this to go down. Until I get the air worked out of the system. And that, that's strictly air in the system. And you see how it's... But this thing's been sitting for like four or five months. And then the ESC runs your tarp. Now I'm only running my pump at about maybe 20%. Because it really doesn't... The faster you run the pump, the more cavitation, it only needs so much to go up. It's not, it's not going to go up any faster if I uh, speed the pump up. And then as it goes up, the stages get smaller, and then it, what it does then is it speeds up because it's got it takes less volume to fill the the smaller portion of the cylinder and it's cold in here too so the hydraulic oil is cold and everything else all right now getting back to this now that that's down all the way the tailgate is locked it's latched but as soon as I open it up that little lever that's on the bottom gets un gets let go and then it's unlatched so
I'm going to raise this box up again and I'm going to put a little weight on it. It don't, I mean, it's, it's super slow raising. And that's fine. Because I've had this thing completely, completely and utterly filled to the brim and it still dumps. Now, how these boxes, just a second, I'm going to take it off the tripod here. Now, I don't know if your box has got these two mounts. They attach right here to the, to the, uh, I actually took mine and raised mine up a little bit. This box here is actually an old first generation of DPS. This is a leftover. It's really old. So the newer ones, this, this issue should be solved. But it should go, it should hinge right on this top frame bolt back here that holds your rear cross member in. That's where the whole box hinges. So that's why I've got this spacer in here and I've got this spacer in here and I've got this because this is an old box. An old box, pre, first design, first generation. It's, um, and you'll notice, it's, it's settling because it's actually pushing hydraulic fluid the weight of the box is pushing fluid back through the hose and it's going through just bypassing through the gear pump it's just a gear pump there's no valve locking it up so basically the pump the bi-directional pump it's pumping it up and to lower it down it's sucking the hydraulic oil back out so if it gets any air in the system it gets kind of jerky and after a while of running them the air gets worked back out the only other thing that works is take the cylinder completely out, point it down, hang it off the side of the truck, and cycle it up in and out. That way the air is running to the basically this port, which would be at the top, so the air can work its way out. That's the only other way, only way to get the air completely worked out of the system. Now, I hopefully this helps. I mean, I took seven and a half minutes of my night to help you explain that. Now, if you have any other questions other than that, I don't know what to tell you. So, so hopefully that'll help you. I mean, other than that, I don't know what else to tell you. Um, here's another thing you got to think about it. And I don't know if it's lately you've been trying to get a hold of DPS. They have the Chinese New Year coming up. So you might as well kiss the whole month of February goodbye. And your and the service here lately has been delayed. So um, just keep that in mind. Okay. Um, another thing you want to keep in mind: if you're living in the U.S., these guys are 12 hours time difference. So when you're texting them or messaging them during the day, you're not going to hear from them until evening. So that's another thing to make kind of take into consideration. So. Hopefully that kind of helps you. Catch you later.